Hi there, everybody. This is Shane R. Monroe with Monroe World, and today we're going to try to do some video editing on the Lenovo Duet. So I was asked by Louis N. or Louis N. to take a look at this Keen, Keen Master, Kine Master, Kinney Master. They don't really give you a translation guide uh, when you download the software. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Now you have to understand, I've never used this software before. I'm a Corel Video Studio guy on the PC. But uh, Louis asked me if I would do like a 10 minute video and see if video editing was possible on the uh, Lenovo Duet. And since I have not done video editing on a phone or an Android tablet, my experience was well, no experience at all. So we're going to do this together. I'm running the hardware analysis. We're going to skip right on by that. There you go. Lucky you. And we're going to see just what how the Kukugi device matches up. 1080p, edit and share, up to six layers of video. Well, listen, that, uh, that looks okay to me. As a video professional, I probably wouldn't be doing more than four or six at the most layers. So... Again, I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not a video teaching you how to use this Keen Master <laughs> because I have never used it before and I am doing it myself for the first time. So let's see if we can learn this together. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, access my media browser. And I have about an eight minute video that I recorded at my parents' house, unboxing some of my old treasures from my childhood. And we're going to see if we can figure out how to do some basic video editing stuff, right? And um, I don't know what's going on here. Um, normally speaking, there's some timeline editing to be done here. Let's see what all some of this stuff does. All right, we have an undo and redo. Okay, well, I, undo, I undid everything. Okay, so now we've added the video clip. And I don't know what this does. Oh, doesn't look to do anything. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll figure this out as we go. <laughs> Uh, oh, here we go. So here's some details on the video clip itself, which is great. Um, yeah, okay. So what does this do? Um, all right, so we can get a sort of details view, I guess. Some sort of editor for the video itself. Um, duplicate his layer. Okay, well, hey, this is, this is good. We can use this to maybe do a video inset. That's a pretty common video thing. You want to put one video inside of another video, maybe put it down in the corner with a layer here. And this looks pretty good. I'm just going to shrink it down and I'll stick it in the corner down here. Yeah. So this is your standard inset sort of edit. So we can definitely do that. That's good. Here's chroma key. So you can do some chroma. This is a terrible video to do any sort of chroma, but it looks like you can apply chroma to both the foreground and background. There's the mask curve of detail curve for the um, chroma, choose your chroma color. Hey, it's kind of cool. They actually recommend some key colors. I wonder if they pull that from the background. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so do I, can I toggle this on and off? I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to scroll myself through the timeline here and it's not, I can't click on the timeline to jump to it. I'm, I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know how to, I don't know how to move around, but can I grab the line or this little red thing? Can I grab this and move it? Nope. Well, that doesn't work. Hmm. Well, this is intended to be on an Android or a touchscreen device. So I guess mouse stuff makes sense that it doesn't work, but I don't know. You would think that, um, with all of the, uh, advanced Android devices that they would give you some more, some more mouse type friendly love in here versus just simulating, uh, screen taps. All right, so what do we have in here? Stickers, text, text, yes, let's do text. Let's see if we can maybe do a little lower third action at the bottom. I'll put my name, maybe a little blue box behind it, maybe slide it onto the screen, do some sort of cool effect. All right, so it does have some center snapping there, I saw. Let's make this a little bigger. Looks pretty good, probably should have changed the font. Oh, how plain. Okay, um, I'm gonna put it at the end. Hmm. I really wanted it on its own layer. Hmm. Maybe I can just get rid of this. How do I delete this? There's trim and split. Uh, hmm. I don't see a, I don't see a delete. Where do I just remove it? Maybe the delete and it can, hmm. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Oh, there we go. I hit the delete button. 
Okay, so can I grab this and move it now? Can I just grab that and slide it to the beginning of the video? That would be cool. The answer is no. I can make it bigger. So there's not... Hmm. So I can grab it and I can stretch it, but I can't... The video won't scroll with it, so I can't drag it beyond the edge of the screen and have it scroll over like I'm used to. Yeah, it's kind of touchy, too. Hard to get a hold of that thing. Um, hmm. You'd think there'd be somewhere in here I could set the start and end time. Oh, that's not it. You know, you could set a starting and end time for the effect, maybe, or the or the the layer. But I guess um, I guess it doesn't work like that. Here's some some animation stuff we could do with it. That's kind of cool. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, I guess um, I guess my only choice here. Is, oh, there we go. At least I can drag the timeline now. That's something. I see what's going on with that. So I guess we'll just drag this to the beginning. This will take forever doing like this. Unbelievable. Um, well, maybe we can do some other stuff in here. That's so weird. I, I really feel like there should be some properties of starting and end time. Uh, uh, I feel like there's something in here that I'm missing. Doesn't that make you crazy using new software? You can't figure any of that stuff out? I already clicked on that one. Hmm. Oh, well, that takes you to the end of the video. We figured out what that button's for. And, of course, this doesn't... I thought maybe that might change based on what layer you had highlighted, but apparently not. So I guess I can at least tidy it up in here. Hmm. Oh, I really don't want to drag this to the beginning. You should be able to just grab that thing and, and move move that, um, that layer's uh, action or that layer's content. You should be able to grab that thing. Oh, pinch to zoom. That helped. Yeah, so I can pinch to zoom, and that will that may make this a little quicker. There we go. Okay, so now the beginning and ending of the timeline are... Oh, there's an ad down there. Well, not here because we block ads. Remember remember my video on Lenovo blocking ads? Well, we're blocking ads. So now, um, so being able to pinch to zoom is helpful. That allows me to get the video in a smaller place and allow me to drag and drop that a little easier or drag the beginnings and ends of it anyway. Um, yeah, okay. Just trying to kind of figure out, there's that watermark it's going to add. Trying to just kind of figure out the nuances. Every one of these. Oh, that's sort of the, the preview. Okay. Let's go back here. I feel a little more comfortable in here. I don't think that's quite lined up here. Let me see if I can grab that. And, eh. yeah, it's it's pretty touchy trying to, trying to get this. I mean, I'm also using the trackpad. So not only do I not know the software, I'm not using an actual mouse, and I usually use a trackball. Um, that's not what I wanted. So, <laughs> the handicap. So, I decided to quit that bit, and I just, I, I made the text just at the beginning. I clipped a whole bunch of nonsense out because I was still trying to figure out how to do that. In this case, I'm just going to grab the, the tip of this guy and just make it, now you see the duration, that's kind of cool. So, it's like uh, almost two seconds of a duration here. And I also, when you weren't looking, I added an in and out animation. What did I do there? Did I duplicate it? Whatever. So now um, I added a sort of video in and out. So you can see that the text comes in and out with a little fade and slide action. That's something. Let's see what that looks like. Slide in, slide out. Oops, a little too short. But that's okay. I mean, the, the, the concept, we know what we're doing here. Let's see if we can do a transition now. I, I zoomed ahead here because I was fumbling around and I'm, I'm trying to find the transition because that's pretty much, that's uh, that's... Pretty much basic stuff, right? You want to be able to do a transition between two split clips. You had a flub or something, and you want to be able to transition. That's not really the transition we were looking for. You want to be able to do a transition between one and the other, maybe a quick dissolve or a quick cut or a slide or a twirl. And you would think that there would be transitions in here. I mean, I'm sure it can do it, but why is why are they keeping it hidden so well. Let me make another cut in here. I'm figuring this piece out at least. Split at the playhead. So now we've got two, we got three different clips here. And hmm, okay, so maybe I can highlight two at a time and then you can select a transition between the two of them. No, this this is really harder than it should be. I've, I've got to be missing a, got to be missing a big flick item here. It says everything else is in here. You can do both a list view versus an icon view, which is also kind of cool. 
What's this do? Oh yeah, that splits the splits the audio into a separate source. So you can do different things to the audio. Kind of cool. Volume envelopes. Yeah, all sorts of cool stuff in here, huh? So yeah, I was going to clip all this out too when I went back, but um, I figured at least this shows some of the other features, even if it's not doing what I'm trying to get it to do. All right. Um, layer effects. There's they show effects. I'm assuming, let me see if you get more here. So maybe they consider transitions effects. And um, well, here they are. Here's transitions. And there's 3D. Oh, let's see. What are the other things? Stickers. Okay. So there's definitely transitions. Maybe we just don't have any. Let's get one. Let's get this spin cut. Uh, free to download. That's kind of nice. They don't, um, they don't put all the transitions on for you by default. I mean, why make you install stuff you don't need, I suppose. So you download on demand. So now, um, how do I apply this thing? Maybe, I thought maybe that it wouldn't show transitions because I didn't have any downloaded, but it's just, it's not showing me, not showing me what I'm looking for here. Hmm. Yeah, gross. Let me get rid of all these. I, I, I made a bunch of editing nonsense. I clipped that all out for you. Um, so I was thinking maybe highlighting more than one did the trick, but then it made sense that there's a plus in between the two. I thought that was just a break point. I didn't realize that was a plus. And so you can see now we've got transitions. I found my spin cut. They got four different ones and we're back in business. So yes, transitions are definitely there. And I know how to move the timeline around. Let's take a preview, shall we? Yes. And here's our spin cut. Yeah, that's a preview too. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. Well, cool. We've got that. Let's see if we can export this thing. What does that look like? Here's a whole bunch of selections. Um, and you can choose your own bit rate. Well, that's great. I mean, a lot of software will default to a bit rate based on the resolution. In this case, it does not. It allows you to do it. Uh, here's the pay graph. Four bucks a month. Well, I won't be using this software. I, uh, I'm a buy once. I, I buy to own, not rent. So... Imagine there's a lot of software like that. So it's exporting. I'm going to skip past this. Boom. Yeah, that took about nine minutes. <laughs> it took nine minutes to render that. So that was, uh, that was a little bit longer than I would have expected it. But hey, let's, uh, let's exit out of here and let's go take a look at the video, shall we? Go to my files and let me look in my... I'm assuming it's in the same place. Videos. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's see. Here it is, 720p. Let's run it. And there it is. You saw my quick uh, transition of my text. Uh, obviously, it was too short, but you know, listen, what do you do? Um, somewhere in here is that transition that I made, the spin cut. And I have no idea where I put it. I guess I should have paid attention, huh? Uh, yeah, and so you can't sort of preview in real time with this viewer, so you can't just slide and watch. Kind of a drag. It's in here somewhere. Look, kids, a cassette tape. Uh, let's see here. I thought it was close to the keyboard when I was dragging the keyboard out, but maybe it's at the beginning. I don't know. It's got to be in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here's the keyboard. So is it in here? Aha, there it is. Wait, there it was. Okay, nice. Well, there's the watermark, by the way, too. The video played. Um, yeah, I, listen, I wouldn't have act. This would not be my preferred method of doing video editing, but... If you need to do video editing on the go and you've got a, you know, Lenovo Duet, that's, this, this does the job. I mean, I, I'm kind of surprised. Well, listen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like the video, subscribe, hit the little bell, get notifications of future videos. And uh, again, sorry that I didn't know the software very well, but I'm, hopefully it was educational. This is Shane R. Monroe, and as always, thanks so much for watching.